Talk about getting me hype off a fragrance that you said it was perfect for you. Practically perfect in every way. Remember a couple of videos back, I told y'all I was gonna buy fragrances from your list of perfect scents in your collection. And I've done the majority of them. But once I posted a picture on Instagram of this particular fragrance, every comment was like, yo, fire, best one in the house. Oh my God, that's a gem. I absolutely love it. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Why haven't I smelled this fragrance or don't remember it at all? So rather than doing it all in compilation, I really wanted to try Lamar by Kajal. I may have smelled this fragrance years back in a sample. I definitely don't remember it, but we're gonna be checking it out today and see what the hype is about. One's calling it the perfect fragrance in their collection and all my Instagram people are like, yo, it's super fire. I'm curious. Let's roll, man. Give me this so we can check out Kajal, Lamar. <laughs> Beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. The perfect fragrance, huh? I mean, right now, the hype is real. Let's go through some of the comments on my IG regarding Lamar. This is what got me hype. Lamar is a bona fide star of the Kajal perfumes, in my humble opinion. Nothing but fire, because Lamar is my scent of the day. Lamar is beautiful. Lamar is goat. Lamar with a pair of lips. I need to hear your thoughts on all four, but I hear Lamar is a banger, and so on and so forth. So after hearing that, how am I not gonna get hype? I got it, let's try it, and see if the hype is warranted. Let's unbox this joint. I know Kajal has really pretty presentations. I think I have one or two fragrances from the Kajal lineup, and here is what Lamar looks like for those who haven't seen what Kajal fragrances are. Very fancy, it's got a beautiful kind of Middle Eastern, Moroccan type flow, beautiful star on top, that gold presentation screams me. Bougie, opulent, flexy, all that shit, I would put this on on a chain if I could, and the boxes, as usual, garbage. So before we get into smelling this fragrance, which I'm holding at the highest tier before even smelling it, let's check out some notes. All right, so according to Vagrantica, the notes are as follows. It opens up with pineapple, red berries, apple, cardamom, and coriander. At the mid, we got Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, magnolia, and jasmine sandback. And at the base, we got vanilla, amber, cashmere wood, musk, cedar, and moss. The notes sound good. It sounds like it's gonna be rose forward. Now, rose and pineapple trying to think what fragrance comes to my head with rose and pineapple that's a banger. I can't think of one off a of rip, but the combination of rose and pineapple could be either nice, sweet, especially if they do a sugared rose, or it could be a little grandma-ish after eating some like dehydrated fruit. Granny loves you! I have no idea, let's go right into it because I just can't wait. The anticipation is fucking killing me on smelling this fragrance. Here's what the atomizer looks like and let's just jump right into it. Wildly interesting, not instant love or goose pimples. It is very dirty slash sugary rose, at least on the test strip. There is a lot of things going on here. It's a bit of confusion off the test strip. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's struggling to find its personality and I'm sure it has something to do with the test strip. I'm gonna keep digging my snoop in it and seeing what I'm getting out of this shit. I'm getting a very earthy rose. It's all rose is what I'm getting, honestly. On the test strip, all I'm getting is a bunch of rose. There's sugary, sweet rose, and then there's dirty, earthy rose. A very nice rose fragrance, but isn't giving me like the mass appeal of everybody like, yo, this shit is super fire. Probably is a test strip, honestly. Let me just go on skin, because if somebody mentions this to be a perfect scent in their list, and so many IG comments saying that this is the shit, it has to be good, right? Wait for it. Let me give it a couple of seconds to dry down and then I'm gonna dig my nose right into this piece. How am I looking? I've lost 15 pounds off of Ozempic and cocaine. I look fantastic, don't I? Not really. You're as healthy as a horse. Yeah, Clydesdale. All right, let's try this again. Okay, much better. I mean, drastically better off the skin, but this is definitely not in the mass appeal space. This is for the niche artistic crowd. The rose is still dirty and sweet. It's still a very prominent rose fragrance. There's a little bit of a honey molasses kind of situation going on here along with the rose, giving it an element of stickiness and kind of this harvested organic kind of nature with some dirty soilish energy. There's a little bit of the berry essence coming through. The pineapple is not something that I pick up as a starring note because the rose is just overpowering everything. Now, as far as rose fragrance is concerned, it's a very nice rose fragrance, but I can't pinpoint it as being the best rose fragrance in my opinion. 
there's still a lot of unwinding and developing of this fragrance. I can already tell that this isn't a fragrance that I can give like a true first impressions on. And the reason being is that it's consistently unwinding. Like you start to pick up different elements the more that it dries down. It feels like it's truly going through its opening mid and dry down and there being significant changes in this bitch throughout that process. Cause right now I'm picking up little nuances here and there, but I'm also digging into this shit, right? So I don't got instant goose pimples. I can't see this as someone's perfect scent, but that's their fucking perfect scent, not mine. And I also can't really jump on the IG hype train saying that this is absolutely gorgeous, like everybody's been saying. It's a good scent. It's not off putting at all, but it's very prominent rose so far. Let me give it a few more minutes, let it fully dry down so I can give you my thoughts on this hypey type fragrance that really isn't getting instant hype from me right now. 15 minutes later. All right, we're back. Let's really experience, dig the nose in to Kajal Lamar and see if I feel the same way. I don't know, I'm, I'm not seeing all the hypiness about the fragrance. Okay, more notes have come up. It's become a little bit more ambery. You still got this raw organic kind of honey situation. It is a prominent rose fragrance though. You gotta be a dude who's willing to step into the rose game. That's really what I'm getting out of this. Like if I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this and another beautiful rose, like uh, Oud Satin Mood, which is a gorgeous fucking rose. This is a lot lighter. Oud Satin Mood seems to be a little bit on the darker side. Or another pretty sugary rose. I think of uh, Zaharov's signature rose, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. That's also a very beautiful rosy fragrance. That one leans a little bit sweet. So you're getting elements of a dirty and sweet rose followed by a little bit of an ambery essence and a molassesy honey type situation. And then you're getting a little bit of a body of amber with some sweetness from berries, but not necessarily pinpointing it as pineapple. I don't think that I agree with all the comments as far as it being a super hype ultra fire fragrance. I think it's just a nice fragrance, but I think it would be a notch up if you're a rose fragrance fan, then this might be in your space because you're getting a balance of two different types of rose elements as well as little supporting roll notes giving you some kind of deviating you off that rose tip if you know what I'm saying. So essentially in hood terms this shit's a high. it's not crazy it's good but it's not like oh shit I need this yesterday nor can I pinpoint this as somebody's perfect scent but that's straight bullshit right because I can't pinpoint anything being perfect for you I don't know you we are not the same fucking DNA anything can be absolutely perfect to you and it's acceptable my opinion is just my opinion and it truly don't mean shit to anyone else but me and maybe like two or three of y'all who really fuck with me heavy and I love y'all. I love you all. Except you Draco, I can't stand you. <laughs> I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. This is just in my skit, if I was gonna rate it, I give this shit like a uh, 6-3. That's my opinion on this fragrance. I'm definitely gonna give it a little bit more aware. This is only cold weather type situation based on this rosiness, but I can't jump on the hype train personally. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on Kajal Lamar. And if you feel like, nah, I'm absolutely wrong. This shit is a fucking legendary piece. Feel free to share it in the comments below. Smooch.